It's time to go behind closed doors in Newport Beach, California. And today we are dropping in on HGTV star Tarek El Moussa. And Selling Sunset real estate agent Heather Ray Young. Okay, let's see. I hope somebody's home. Is anyone home? Oh, hi. Oh, we're home. Hi. Oh, hi. there you are. Hi, guys. Good morning. All right. First of all, it's so great to see you. For people who don't know and aren't aware of this, Flipping 101 Tarek coaches first-time flippers as they race to renovate properties and get them on the market. Heather Ray is a, in this Netflix show, and I got to tell you, Heather Ray, Selling Sunset, I turned it on for the first time two nights ago. I was like an addict in five seconds. No, I was like, eat, no, I'm like eating popcorn. I'm like, the kids are yelling. I'm like, go to bed. It was awesome. Okay, and by the way, if that isn't enough, y'all got engaged this summer. Yes, Congratulations. We did. We did about two months ago on Catalina Island. Oh. Tell, tell us about that moment, Tarek. Oh my gosh, I was so nervous, guys. I'm telling you, I thought I was Mr. Cool Guy. I was not nervous. I was standing on the beach. She came around that corner. I started sweating. My heart started jumping out of my chest. He maybe cried a little bit. Oh, oh. I did not. Oh, well, maybe. Okay. But you guys are, you're going to find out because Flipping 101 premieres tonight. And the engagement was actually filmed, so you're going to be seeing Ooh. it in a few weeks. Y'all got Wait. it all on tape. So here's we the got thing. It all on tape, and it was beautiful. And I yeah. had no clue. He was stressing, doing so much behind the scenes, and I was just like, you know, no clue. Yeah. <laughs> oh, can we come inside? Will y'all let us into your your love nest? We like calling it that. Well, only if you let us show you around. Okay, okay we're please. ready. All right, we're gonna show you. Okay, Welcome. so. Um, we rented this beach house after we sold our last house, and we've just been loving it, and we're going to tell you all the reasons why. Yeah. Okay. So, obviously, you come through the big old front door. We're going to take you to our favorite spot of the house. Oh, yeah. I already Welcome. like it. Me too. So, nice open pantry. So, we really wanted to personalize the house, and I wanted to bring in photos of the family and the kids and us, so um, we didn't want to ruin the walls, so we decided to use this double-sided tape to hang all these gorgeous photos of our family. And, and this is actually very important, because if you're renting a house, if, you, if you're in an A or B and B or something, and you want to put things on the wall, don't put nails. Use this, like, double-sided tape, because when you move, you just take it off the walls, and they stay, like, brand new. That is so, so smart. So yeah, and because we have so many photos, I wanted to lay it out first before I put them on the wall. So I laid everything out on the floor, and I changed things around, moved things, and I wanted it to balance and make sense. So here's our beautiful family photo wall. Yes, so family photo wall here, family photo wall here. And of course, you know, family's everything, so these are the two favorite walls of the house. Yeah. And we're, we're going to keep the tour going. So, you know, obviously I've been flipping and designing houses for a really long time, and paint is so important. And we just love this paint color. Honey, what's the name of this paint color? This one is called Lock Blue from Sherwin-Williams. And yeah. Lock is L-O-C-K. I'm sorry, L-O-C-H. It's L-O-C-H. <laughs> it's so the beautiful. Color, it's a greenish blue. It's so pretty. And you actually have that throughout the house, right? A little bit in the kitchen, too? We do. We brought in pops of blues. It's a, you know, it's beachy, so we want it to feel beachy. So we have uh, pillows with pops of blue. We brought them into our kitchen, um, our living room. And, and, and by the way... Pillows are fantastic for bringing in color. So we, we went with that blue paint on the wall. Or actually, the blue paint was already there. We love the blue paint. So we went with, like, accent pillows and, and different things to really create pops of color. Uh -huh. You don't have any shades. Y'all just walk around and do what you want with everybody peeking in. <laughs> yeah, there are no shades. So, you know, we have to behave downstairs a little bit sometimes. Well, it's, it's actually a very private house. There's no homes around us. And we have a tennis court right next door where we play tennis every week. So it's a very private house. We feel comfortable about having shades down here. In the bedroom, we have shades. There's shades in the bedroom. Yeah, I was going to so, say, we, hope right. so. we don't want to peek in there. But, I mean, or, you know. Okay, so you have a gaming area for your kids. Will you show us this? Yeah, yeah. of course. So you want to tell them about our little yeah. fun area? Yeah, so we like to play shuffleboard. There's a shuffleboard uh, table here. The kids love it. We'll just, like, throw these things back and forth. And then over here. Yeah, and, and listen, like, with, like, with everything going on, we've been spending a lot more time indoors. Yeah. So, like, having games in the house and having things to do is really important, especially right now. So, we, we spend a lot of time uh, playing these games with the kids, and yeah. it, it's, it's just it's just a, a great family house. We play hide-and-seek all the time, and then Tarek loves to wrestle with the kids, so... Oh, this is our wrestling ring right here. <laughs> and our favorite game to play in this room is actually four corners, because yeah. this room is a rectangle, and we hide in the corners, and we have to pick which number mm -hmm. we're in. 
Anyways, that's well, Taylor's favorite game, okay. but this is the wrestling ring. Okay, so we love the wrestling time, ring, but we're just, we're running a little show, uh, short on time, and I, we got to see the, the kitchen, kitchen, kiddos. Take oh, us okay, to the okay, kitchen. Here we go, let's go. We're going to move faster. We're going to move faster. The kitchen is one of our favorite places because we have the family over. We like to entertain. And I love to eat. He loves I just love the size of this wow. ring. Oh, nice. It's messy. Can you see what she did? It's messy. It's messy. Wait. That kitchen that is kitchen beautiful. Is stunning. Okay, wait. Before we, you know what? We only have a little bit more time. We got to get out to the cocktail pool because we don't even know what a cocktail pool is. What is it? <laughs> okay, well, it's not quite a pool. It's not quite a spa. It's kind of like a school. <laughs> <laughs> This thing is like, oh, oh Mary just landed. So it, it, it's 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 kind of like in between a pool and a spa. So Brayden loves the hot water. So we actually heat up this pool to 100 degrees and we use it as an oversized jacuzzi. It's so cool, you guys. They love it. So wow. We don't like cold water, so we only like to go in when it's really hot. So it's our oversized jacuzzi. By the yeah. way, that is brilliant. We hang out, we play with the kids, and we just enjoy life. You know, y'all are super cute. All right, Tarek, Heather, Ray, we're going to take a break, but we do want to see your bedroom. We want to see how you guys decorated it. So stick around, okay? We'll be back right after this. We have been getting a look behind closed doors with Tarek El Musa and Heather Ray Young. Yeah, they saved the best for last, kiddos. We've been waiting for this. Take us into your, quote, hotel suite. Hello. Oh, are you ready? All right, so we call this house the hotel house. And we call it the hotel house because of the master bedroom. Here we go. This is our favorite room in the house because it's our private room. We'll come in here. We have a coffee maker and a fridge. I keep snacks in here, drinks for us, and a really inexpensive way to do this. You can go to any store, get a microwave, or I'm sorry, get a coffee maker, get a fridge, get a little shelf unit, and you can pop it in your That's bedroom. Cute. And in your bedroom. Okay. Honestly, I love having the refrigerator and the coffee maker in the bedroom because, like, we come home, we close the door, and sometimes we don't leave the room. That's what we call it the hotel house, because it feels like a hotel room. We have a patio right here, so we sit outside on the patio. We mm. almost never leave the room, because we have the fridge and the coffee maker. We also have a view of the water in the house and the bedroom. Yeah, right really up there. The bay, which is okay, this nice. is awesome. Oh, look at this. So nice. nice. You can see some boats out here. It's just so gorgeous to is wake up insane? to that. I thought that was a painting, seriously. Okay. Oh, no, that's real. That's real. So I want to show you guys this. This is such a special thing for me. Uh, Taylor made this for me for our Mother's Day. And she printed out a bunch of photos of me and her and the family. She cut out the H out of cardboard, lined it with tape so nothing would fall off. And it's really special. Oh, so we have so a whole sweet. I know. So we keep all of our little treasures from the kids right here. And they check, too. They walk in. They're like, where is everything? Do you guys have everything set up? Oh. And we always make sure everything's out. So this is our kid uh, kid uh, area over yeah, here. That's the oh. kid area. And then, so obviously with quarantine, you know, it's life has changed a little bit. So I'm going to show you where I do all my work. Okay, yeah, show us. So if you've ever seen me on an online meeting or a Zoom meeting, it's literally right here. Okay. This, this is where I work now. I set up the laptop right here. We set this It up. has good lighting for the big windows. Right there. And that's his Tarek, Tarek, I have to say something. Although it looks comfy and cozy, we actually have someone who begs to differ. They don't think that's the best place for you to be doing your work. We have another uh, interior designer, Elizabeth Mayhew, and she says there's a way to create office space where you don't have to have it in the center. So we're going to ambush you. So, Elizabeth, <laughs> what's your suggestion for Tarek? Oh, Guys, your geez. house is with your house is without a doubt beautiful. But it is true that setting up in that loungy chair with the beautiful windows and everything could be really distracting. So one thing that I'm going to recommend is go to your closet. There must be a closet in there that you guys can turn into an awesome home office. What? And I have some. That's actually a good idea. What a good idea. I like that I actually one. have. I have some examples. Live Partner Des Live Partners Design, which is a great firm in Alabama, they actually transformed. They went throughout the country, and even in D.C., for example, they took a simple closet. I have some pictures of it. Hopefully, we can show you guys. But um, just open, like even if you have bifold doors, you go ahead, you take all those clothes out and oh, I'm wow. sure that half of those you could get rid of. Oh. And you can just easily put a table down and hmm. install some great lighting, uh -huh. paint it a fun color. That way, even if that's attached to your bedroom, you could just close the doors and not see it close at it. all. Tarek, what do, you, what do you guys think, Heather Ray? 
I, I think you might be seeing that on an upcoming flip or flop house. That sounds like a great idea. <laughs> that is a good that idea. sounds like a good marketing plan. All right. Uh, well, well thank Tarek you and Heather guys. Ray, thank you guys so much. Good luck with your shows. Your Enjoy wedding, flipping out tonight. Everything. Yeah. Right. And, yes. Okay. Bye, honey. Thanks. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.